Good afternoon and welcome to a rather snowy Tranquility Homes virtual tour. Today we're on Clarendon Park on the very desirable Lytton Road and have we got a treat for you. We're looking at a three bed terrace property that hasn't been on the market since 1964. A property that is deceptively large based in a very popular area. This would make an incredible family home or a first time buy. If you know Leicester, then Clarendon Park needs no introduction. If you're moving from outside the area, then simply put, Clarendon Park is a very, very popular and desirable area for young professionals, families, and in fact, people of all ages. Incredible local amenities here include Victoria Park, which you can see just at the end of the road, local places of worship, which is at the end of the other road here, lots of independent shops and businesses and hangouts, nightlife, a library, dentists, doctors. There really is very little that you would need living in this area. Primary school is about a two minute walk up the road here. Secondary school is about a 10 minute walk away. And then at the other end of the street, we have got the college, Queen, uh, the Wigston Queen Elizabeth College, and just beyond that, the prestigious Leicester University. Pretty much anything you can think of is available here, from takeaways to a nice chilled out cafe, to have a spot of lunch and a coffee with friends. But enough about that, let's talk about the house. So, as you can see, we have got double glazing throughout. The property is also gas central heated with a modern glowworm boiler installed only a few years ago. UPVC door on the front and the back. And we've got this lovely frontage as well. So you're not opening the door directly onto the street. Plenty of parking in this area. It is a permit, so you would apply to the council for one of those. It costs 25 pounds a year. And this house is full of charm and character. Some spots could do with some modernising, but overall this is a great opportunity for a very lucky buyer who's going to be able to own a prime piece of real estate in Clarendon Park. So without further ado, let's head through the gate and we'll have a look. And here we are, and we're greeted by a lovely entrance hallway. We can see we've got a radiator here and a laminate floor. And the first thing I noticed when I came was the lovely original features that have been kept above the doorway here. Lots of charm and quirks and character throughout this property. So on the left, we've got the large front room really good size large bay window letting in lots of natural light and again radiator on the wall a nice view out onto the quiet street and a gas fire here as well Lots of space either side of the chimney breast. We've got some feature lighting in the alcoves. Nice that we've got the original features at the top there as well. Really high ceilings. This will make a great lounge for relaxing with the family. Or as a separate dining room depending on your needs. The 
phone line in here as well. High speed broadband of course is available in Clarendon Park. And now let's go and have a look at this sizeable lounge. So heading round to the right, we've got the stairs heading up. We'll go and have a look up there shortly. And then we've got our lovely sitting room. A really large but still cosy space. Nice comfortable room, plenty of space for the whole family. Two sofas in here, we've got the three-piece suite and the separate armchair. But this would work really well as a nice family space. Again, high ceilings, nice big window to the rear. Gas fire here with the hearth. And we've also got some built-in storage here. So quite often in these properties, this would be where the stairs go up. But in this one, we've actually got room for the ironing board and the Dyson. And we've also got the meters here. This goes right under the stairs. So there is actually a good amount of storage space here, which is always useful. Spinning around, try and show you the full size of this lounge. A little sneak a peek onto the yard there. And let's head around into the kitchen. So the kitchen is much wider than you tend to find in terrace properties in this area, making it a much more usable space and adding lots of utility to the space as well. You can see we've got ample floor space as well as plenty of food preparation areas and storage courtesy of matching base and eye level units. Lots of room for the fridge freezer and some really nice splashback tiles which actually go along this whole wall at the back. Large stainless steel sink with the separate taps and a nice view onto the garden as you do the washing up. And we've got a traditional oven here with a induction type hob above and some extraction. Room for the washer dryer here as well. Plenty of sockets for appliances and also our nice modern glowworm combi boiler which has a full service history. This would be a wonderful space for whipping up a family meal or grabbing a quick snack. Heading through, the bathroom was recently renovated and is absolutely stunning. A lovely space, tiled from top to bottom, and we've got a separate WC as well. We've got recessed spots in the ceiling as well, nice feature lighting, as well as the low flush WC, the hand wash basin with cabinet below, and vanity above and the bath. Perfect for relaxing after a long day. This also has a thermostatic shower built in above for when you're in a bit more of a rush, perhaps in the morning. Really nicely finished this one. Lots of cool little knickknacks 
adding to the character of the property. And this room really doesn't require any modernisation at all. Heading back through the kitchen. Let's have a look at the garden. So we've got a UPVC door here. Nice and modern, helps to keep the warm in. And as we head out, in front of us, we've got the gate which provides access to the private alley. Common in this type of property, this would be where you would take your wheelie bins on a Tuesday. But the nice thing is, nobody needs to come through your garden and you don't need to go through anybody else's. Really good size patio here. Nice, low maintenance, easy to keep, but also has some mature borders. So there is the opportunity to grow some plants. I don't think the rose bush is enjoying the weather today, but come the summer, that's going to look fantastic. Another great bonus with this property is that it has actually retained its original brick outhouses. These would, of course, have been the outside loo and a store, but currently they are just used as extra storage. Really useful for bikes, barbecues and all other types of things you might have in the garden. So here's the footprint of the property from the rear. And this space would make an excellent entertaining space. I can just picture myself here with a barbecue and a glass of something cold. Maybe not in this weather, but give it a couple of months. And who knows, by the end of the day, there might be enough snow to build a snowman out here. At the back of the garden, you've got a view of Clarendon Park terraces. This view will have remained unchanged for maybe a hundred years. And it's got that charm and that aesthetic which only adds to the property. So, why don't we head upstairs and we'll have a look at the bedrooms. I should just dry my feet first. And as mentioned, we've got three double bedrooms upstairs. All of them sizeable, very comfortable, providing a real haven and a retreat at the end of the day. As we head up, you'll notice the vendors, or the vendor's parents, had a stair lift installed. But that would probably want to come out depending on your needs. So the first bedroom we find, as I mentioned, really good size double. Lots of space here could easily substitute this single bed for a double. Still room for the chest of drawers and the wardrobe. Would make an excellent children's bedroom. Storage via either side of the chimney breast. And here's the view out onto the back garden. quite tricky to show the size of these rooms because they certainly are very generous. Heading round, another character feature here 
This was the original banister. And we follow it round to the master bedroom at the front of the property. When I say acres of space, I really do mean it. Again, a king size bed would easily substitute into this one and you'd still have lots and lots of space. Really high ceilings, nice big window to the front of the property. Again, double glazed. And we've got a little bit of a character feature as well in the form of the original built-in wardrobe. So, another handy bit of storage, adding utility and usefulness to this space. As mentioned, this is one of the glorious things about these terraced houses in Clarendon Park. They are a bit like a TARDIS. They are so much deeper than you would imagine. And that's perfectly displayed by this back bedroom. This room is around four meters in length and about two and a half across. So certainly big enough for a queen size or a double bed, particularly if these wardrobes are removed. And in the corner there, this would have been the old hot water tank and the airing cupboard, obviously no longer needed, but still useful for some extra storage or if it was taken out and the pipework was boxed in into a smaller enclosure, you'd gain quite a lot of space. Here's that view again. As mentioned, it's been largely the same for over a hundred years. And there's the footprint of this back bedroom. So, if you're a first time buyer, or someone looking for your family home, I would strongly recommend you give me a call at Tranquility Homes and we arrange a private viewing. I don't think this one will be on the market for long, but it's very rare that these come up. As mentioned, this house hasn't been on the market since 1964. So if you would like a piece of prime real estate in Leicester's Clarendon Park, then give me a call on 0116. 235-5232 or you can find us online at Right Move on the Market and Zoopla or at tranquillityhomes.co.uk Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. I look forward to hearing from you. Many thanks. <laughs>